Okay, so I'm back. I've deleted my character, so it'll no longer be um, trapped in the cave. Uh, gonna be a big lad, let's go for it. Blue eyes, head type. There's only one head type. Hair colour, we'll go a bit lighter. We've not really got much hair. Ooh. Yes, let's go with the dodgy moustache. Eye tilt. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with any of that. Too complicated. What does that do? Nothing that I can determine. Create character. Alright, so I should be back at like one of the starting points, which will make life easier. Uh, there's only really one thing else that um, I wanted to show you, and that's the, the new 3D world map. So basically, I'll spawn in some city, and I'll run out of it. of course not optimised yet. Expect it to be slow. It is, I mean, graphically looking a lot better than it was a few releases ago. Far less um, far less floating structures with no visible support and things like that and the, the new lighting is probably one of the nice things about being in those caves there. See the multiple light sources and all that. Quite well done. Now, where am I? Ah, apparently I'm in the house head and it's dark. I'm going to head towards some lights. sure whether I spawned in the middle of something. Or right at the edge of something. So it's possible if I head towards this, uh, there's a teleport of some kind. Let's see what happens. How do I get in? Oh, graph gem mines. Oh, so this is in fact the graph gem mines which I thought I was at before. And I'm not. Oh, I will be soon. So this is a new area, I think. From my... Uh, my read through the... Um, oh. Let's just have a look around. I presume we'll get out that way. Right. Yes, my read through my release notes. Mm, little carts. Can't push them. Can we do anything with these? You double click on things to interact with them, apparently. No, don't think I can do anything with them. What's that? I just walked on. Evidently I'm walking on something. Hey. So before I get lost in yet another cave, let's see if I can get back out this way. Oh, go on. I presume since this is where I came in, I can get out this way. Yes, I can. Double click, and I'm teleported back to the owl's head. 
So a brief excursion to the new area. I'm not exactly sure how long night lasts in the game. But hopefully it will get daylight before I've been recording for too long. second now. Just about see it. Oh, it looks like dawn's approaching. A red sky. Very pretty. swimming. I'm swimming in the dark. There we go. Oh, it is getting a bit light now, look. Oopsie. So if I head out towards this mountain, oopsie, I'm assuming it'll teleport me, no, not teleport me, but it will get me onto the uh, new 3D map, which is uh, quite cool. Oh, here, here we go. So, uh, I don't know if you've seen previously, it was just like a 2D map in the previous release. So now we've got a nice 3D map. Zoom out of and a single click. Single click moves me through the map. No, as yet there aren't any. Uh, there aren't any random encounters. So you may see it's totally safe, but it looks a lot prettier. Double click, yes. Double click to go into the new city. Dawn is breaking. That's quite a quite a foresty type place here. Nice country walk. Oh, some houses and stuff. The fire. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey, see, if we double click on fires, I can put them out. There we go, and it got darker and everything. Very nice. Oop. Yeah, don't walk into the tree. So, I think I have actually covered uh, the main new areas, as well as, you know, being trapped in a mine and getting myself killed a few times. Um, I might have to attempt some uh, editing of this film. I might just upload it just like it is, because, you know, my standards aren't high. Uh, so, Shadow of the Avatar. This is the R7 release. Uh, you know, not release, it's a pre-alpha testing release. Pretty Woodlands. Definitely this is a game worth checking out, especially if you can get on here and explain to me how you're supposed to play it. <laughs> I hope. That's it for now, thanks.